Hey guys, how you doing? This is Lorraine um, here from the Sacred Alchemist 1111. Guys, very, very quickly, i just done a reading for you guys for the evening um, reading. And it was speaking about those who have been um, really focusing and really seriously thinking about leaving um, the city to kind of go towards um, living a different way of life um, for your family. Um, and this includes actually, um, from what I gathered from the cards, it was about looking to buy a piece of land, exchange um, money for a piece of land and start to kind of work the land and live um, in a different kind of way. But what it was that I wanted to mention as well, that I didn't, this is why I'm doing this kind of um, quick bonus kind of message to attach to the reading is because I feel that you guys have been really thinking um, the worst and panicking as well. The Nine of Swords was there in reverse, thankfully. So this message, what has been brought out is just to say about the fact that you don't need to worry because I feel that part of your stress was to do with the fact that you was thinking, say, if you get trapped in the city, um, say, if there's no medicine, for your family, um, what you're going to do, you've got your children. And I feel that the, it just really felt that somebody had been having some real serious sleepless nights and really stressing themselves out. But you need to calm down because if you're going to start to manifest and think about things like that, because remember, you are the person that creates your own reality. OK, and you, you need to stop living in fear. OK, now somebody says that fear is stands for false evidence of appearing real. OK, um, I think it's Ralph Smart that says that you mustn't manifest yourself into living in fear. Now, I have purposefully pulled this temperance card for you all to focus on, because this is about the healing energy that is going to be provided for you by one of the archangels. Any archangel that you know that you can resonate with. That is what you need to be focusing on. This is going to be your guide. It's going to help to soothe you and heal you guys. Please don't assume that you are going to end up being trapped and being, you know, and then that's the end of the days for you where you're never going to be able to survive. You're not going to be able to find food. And, you know, because you need to stop that. You are going to end up making yourself sick with worry. OK, and what the cards are saying to me was that it's not going to happen that way. OK, you need to be thinking carefully. You need to self-care. OK, think about what you're doing and then things are going to work out for you. Because I feel that everybody's kind of going through this energy right now, this situation of wanting to leave. You've seen it on the news. People are leaving in their droves. They're leaving the city. They're leaving the city to go towards living in the woods, living in remote places, especially where social distancing isn't going to be affecting them that much. But there's also that drive, that energy underneath all of that, of this fear that it's not going to work out. You need to stop, okay? Don't do that to yourself. I myself am in the same kind of situation where I was, um, you know, saying to myself, I want to move out of the city. This is when I was living in London. Um, this was years ago. Um, and, you know, I just felt really closed in and anxious and thinking, oh my God, like if there's a disaster and I'm trapped in London, that's it. And I was making myself feel really sick. And in the end, I had to really pull myself to, together and say, stop it. Stop it. OK, if you're going to be thinking about things like that, then that's what's going to happen. You're going to end up trapping yourself, but you're going to trap yourself in self in your own mind and you're going to create create your own sickness and then you're going to be screwed. OK, so with the temperance card here, guys, I will need you to kind of focus on that. Focus on the healing energies. Believe in yourself that you can do this. OK, and it will happen for you in the right thing, the positive thing that you want. What is it that you want? You want to move out? You want to come out from the city? OK, make it happen. It's going to happen for you. You're going to survive. You're going to live. You're going to know how to grow the food. You're going to know how to know when is the best time for you to plant your seeds and get your harvest in. You, there's so many free books online. There's so many videos online that is there's from preppers that's going to teach you and show you the way. OK, I just felt compelled by spirit to kind of add this and um, add this little message um, for you guys, because, you know, it just really feels to me that. 
you know, we're living in a, a very, very um, tense time. And what we what we need to do is to stop really living in fear. OK, and to really start to focus on becoming more empowered, becoming more focused and believing in yourself that you can do this. You've got it going on. You've got this. Have the faith and the trust within yourself and the love within yourself that you've got this going on. And your vibrations are going to raise as high, higher than it's ever been. OK, remember what I always said, the moment you change your mindset, everything falls into place. OK, I just wanted to add that for you guys. All right. Um, thanks for listening to this quick, brief message. It's just a bonus kind of message that I wanted to add in there um, for you all. OK, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with another reading for you all. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.